Hey guys, I'm Bolt from Vertex. I'm gonna quickly run through um, a couple of BX suits you can do. Uh, you'll have to teach your mates a few things, a bit of U-Tool sets, but uh, overall it's pretty basic. I think the standard stuff everyone should know is just uh, the coffin smoke. So you just do this thing in line with that height. That just come up. And it's just a left click. That'll just smoke off back here. And then they can always peek through like this. Um, then the next smoke you want to learn is uh, a CT smoke. So I do it by coming in here and aiming at the Dorito. See, there's like this little Dorito chip in the bottom of the Dorito. Doing this one's like a lot better, I think, than trusting that someone's going to throw this and not miss it. Because pretty often people will miss it um, and then it'll land like uh, here. Like they'll just eat it and then there's a huge gap here for the CTs. Um, so having a consistent one's like always good. So. And then, obviously, everyone should know new box molly, like that. Sometimes it doesn't get here, but I don't really see people abuse that very often. I think they just kind of trust that it's going to hit. Yeah, and then there's a the dark molly, so you see this like dark smudge. You just aim in like the middle of it. You just aim in the middle of it, and it's going to go in dark, like that. So if you have all this utils, if you come to be with two mollies um, and two smokes, and at least one flash, probably two. Um, this is a pretty good execute to do. Usually, I would do this if, say, early on, the CTs have used a ton of util banana. They're not going to have that much util left to block you. So, because this whole execute can be blocked by one molly, um, if you don't have the spare smoke, because two smokes already a decent amount of investment for you guys. Um, if you have the third, you can just smoke it. A lot of the time, you're coming back here, you'll only have two smokes, especially if you have someone lurking. That one molly can kind of buy them so much time to survive on site. So, you want to be coming here when you think they have low util, so they won't have that molly. Or if you've been counting mollies, um, on this map, it's pretty easy to know when the teams use all five. And then you just want to do, uh, I think people are doing the flash like this or something now. Just do like a jump throw. Jump through here. Um, and that flash is going to get pretty much every spot. It doesn't get the guy up here, but you know, get a grip. No one plays up here anymore. That's like the most standard way to hit B. We might do that like three or four times out of ten if we were hitting B. But there are a lot of different ways you can hit B. And the most important thing is that you're mixing up the timings of when you're uh, going through. So for example, this flash is called like a key flash. That's how, uh, how we name it. So every strat will have like a, uh, a key flash. So you know, this key flash is like, we need that one flash so we can entry. Otherwise, no one's going to be white and we're just going to die. Mixing up the timing of the key flash is kind of the most important part of mixing up timing in my opinion. So you could have the guy do, so say if they've smoked B and you you have five here, so you still want to go through. You turn your key flash from this one to this one. And this is a little flash that goes uh, above this smoke. Someone can come here and jump through with it and then clear like uh, anyone who's playing for CT. And then with that, you'd obviously have someone smoke at the same time and jump through. And mixing up that kind of timing catches people off guard. So it'll catch them in transition. So say they've, you know, smoked from CT and the guy's trying to get across the site. If the flash pops, then... Oh, as the flash pops, he's getting caught off guard because he's in transition to his new role, uh, like new spot. Yeah, mixing up that kind of timing is the most important part. But there are also a couple extra strats that you can do on B. You can do the, uh, the front side smoke if you want. I think you can do a better one from here. I can't remember exactly, something like that. Um, this smoke's pretty good, um, especially if you know they're double orping. Um, I think this smoke is like really, really good. Uh, this one's slightly better because it lands like up on the, up here, instead of on like the second step. This one's pretty good if they're double orping. Um, you can do this smoke as well. Yeah, back in this corner, aim at the railing. And that's gonna go deep CT. And what that lets you do is, it lets you, those two smokes, you can then do just one entry flash. And then you can easily chase down uh, CT and then wrap through con. So that's like another way to hit B. I think it's really good if they're double looping or if they're saving uh, you two for sight. So say you do your full execute and you know someone just smokes. We, like I call this Nexus smoke. So say someone does Nexus smoke, um, then you can't really. It's really hard to kill this guy by chasing him down, and um, it buys a lot of time for rotations because uh, people can come and flash for him, and then he has really good fights for you. So instead of trying to force it and try to kill him, um, if he's playing like that, you can just do the smoke here and the smoke uh, deep CT, and then you're taking all this control. And then if he drops that smoke, you can just wait it out, but you're in a safe spot and you're also cutting off rotations. So the rotators can't really feel safe uh, flashing for him and stuff because um, you can just be fighting. I also like that execute. I'd call that one the front side execute. And then the other one, just a default B. Uh, and then probably the, th the third, there's like the two main ones I think that um, that you can implement pretty easily because it's just a bit of you too. Um, <clears throat> the best thing to do with the that one as well is oh, okay. 
slightly above the plaque, I guess. That thing. You can molly coffin. And then that stops a guy from playing here, watching around. So I think that's actually a really good piece of utility to add. Um, and then I forgot to say, you also have, this guy does this flash, and then you do one flash, see how there's like, the edge of the building there? You can do one flash up there, and that'll just blind anyone who's trying to fight the smoke, basically. Um, and because your team should be running in like this, their backs turned to it, so they don't actually get flashed by it. Alright, and the last thing that's really important is popping through uh, the smoke. So I talked about it a little bit earlier, but yeah, it's pretty easy to do. So usually we'd have someone come here, and you want to do the flash. So go flash and smoke same time, flash pops, and then you want to have two entries who are just jumping through each side of the smoke. I call that peeling, like peel, like peel a banana. So you have two people who say, let's peel the smoke, jump through, go like that, and then you're kind of coming in as this smoke's landing. And then this guy does uh, the buck the basket flash. Oh my gosh, I keep double clicking. Basket flash, and then coffin smoke. And then if you want, you can come and do the new box molly late. Um, can be pretty good, or like a dark molly. Pretty much I just use my molly wherever, um, wherever we see them. So, just as a reminder, dark molly middle of the little stain there, and new box molly is like this. I feel like everyone should know that by now. It's like that. There we go. This is the money. There we go. All right. So it's in, in here, up from here, to this little mark. That's gonna get both first, second, and top second. Um. So the other thing you can do instead of doing a dark molly, um. Dark's like pretty, like maybe if they're double walking they'll be dark, but it's pretty rare that someone actually plays in dark uh, on a rifle. So you can just do uh, left side mollies. So you do like, you have one guy do this, and one guy do uh, this one. And then the mollies kind of connect, see? So like, if the guy can't stand here, he's gonna die. So basically CTs have to be, like they can't be anywhere across this line. So, as you're entering, you can just come in and just run up like that. Or like a cross site like this. And they pretty much can't be anywhere uh, behind you. So, it makes the entry's life really easy. So, yeah. Just a couple ideas of how you can execute B. Um, kept it pretty basic. Probably have to teach. I assume most of the time, if you're in a pug uh, or an MMO game, you can kind of ask your teammates and they'll know how to do at least one of these two smokes, and probably like this molly, I'd assume. Um, so yeah, you can like organize that pretty easily, just say I need a coffin smoke and then, uh, and a flash. Probably this is the most important part, is having a good flash, so the flash is landing up here, um, so it doesn't get anyone until they're like here pretty much. Um, and like, won't get me if I'm, oh, wait. What is it? Dot throw. Oh my god. Boomer. Gets me here, but that's it. So, uh, yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to organize. Probably, uh, the deep CT one and the front, like the front side execute probably a little bit harder, maybe. Um, yeah, pretty cool ways to be. It'll definitely work in your pugs if you do them, um, because people don't really know how to use U-Tool right at B. Um, so, yeah. Give it a go and let me know how it goes. See you guys.